In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to set up a Getit account, and I'll do a quick demo. First, navigate to letsgetit.com, and then click Get Started for Free. Next, you'll click I'm a Teacher, fill out the form, and then click Create Account. So now that you've created an account, you can play around with the demo class to see how Getit works. Now I'm going to click Circulation, the demo lesson, and here's a class that's already done. I'm going to hit Start Teaching. And once I've clicked that, then this screen comes up that says your lesson is now running. Nice work. And at the bottom, I'm going to say, OK, let me add it. So you're going to see a list of students on the left that are color-coded, red, orange, yellow, green, and in the middle, you see questions that you can ask. I'm going to click Join as Russell to see what his screen looks like. It'll bring up this little phone here. So let's say, for instance, the teacher asks, uh, how do you get the lesson? And if I'm a student, I'd click here or tap here on my cell phone, and then maybe three bars, I'm OK with it. And then you can type in a note and then check in. And then that information goes to the teacher. Then you can also, if you have a question, raise your hand. And you can see on the teacher screen that the blue alert button comes up. So now I'm going to ask a question. I click the blue ask button, and now next to it it says live. The question is, describe what happens when your blood reaches your lungs. So let's see what the student sees. So on the student's iPhone or cell phone, they can still check in. So you can check in and say, yeah, I still get it and you'll see the color change on the teacher screen. And then you can also answer the question. So you can type in your answer on your phone. And then I'm going to tap answer question and the teacher will get my response as a student. So I'm going to go ahead and end this demo by clicking end lesson here. Now I'm going to add a class. I click the add class button and then type in the name of the class I would like to create, then click Create Class. Now, from here, I want to set up student accounts. So you can either give students the class code to create their own accounts, or you can type in a class list or copy and paste your class list. I'm going to let students create their own accounts, and here is the code that my students will use to join my class. So now I pulled up my iPad to the screen and go to the Safari browser and I'm going to type in letsgetit.com. Now you'll see it'll say teachers login or sign up or student login or join a class. I'm going to tap on student and you can either sign in with Google or sign up to create an account or sign in with an existing account. So I'm going to go ahead and create an account since this is the first time the student has been to Let's Get It. Now I'm going to click the Sign Up button or tap it on the iPad. Now it says, OK, in your name, you're almost ready. Now there's a place to put in the class code. So I'm going to do that. So now that the student is ready, it says you're ready to go. I am going to go back to the teacher screen and set up this class and run a lesson. So I'm going to go back and it'll show my class has one student now. So I'm ready to add a new lesson. I press the blue new lesson button and here I can add a topic or activity. So you can type in the name of the topic here then click done when you've added the topic and then also you can prepare a question so I'm going to type my question right here so when you're done with your question you can add an image or you can give choices if it's multiple choice short answer or make it a poll I'm going to make this short answer and then save the question so at that point I'm going to start teaching you can add more questions or do more things but I'm going to start teaching so notice that on the iPad screen, you can 
see that you're ready to check in since I've started teaching and so I'm going to go down to the iPad and check in just to show you what happens on the teacher screen so it changed colors as soon as the student checked in so the student can also type a response for the teacher to see that explains more Okay, then I'm going to submit my response and the student will also be able to see the responses below you know it kind of tracks that for the student which is really nice and so as a teacher I'm going to start my topic on digital citizenship and it lights up green right there and so the student will see that it'll say digital citizenship I'm going to ask the first question and now you can tap the blue button to write your answer to that question there. So I'm going to give the answer. And you'll notice that on the teacher screen it says live. That means that question is being answered right now. Okay, so the student's going to answer the question. And on the teacher's screen, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at how the students have answered. So my answers from all my students would be right there on this screen. You could read those. And when I'm done with this topic, I can tap finish or click finish. And then if I'm done with the whole lesson and teaching with all my topics, I can end my lesson. Now I'm back at the teacher dashboard and the student screen says you're ready to go because the session has ended. You'll just tap on your name and then sign out in order to log out and sign out of Get It. In this lesson, you have learned how to get going with Get It.